Today I'm going to show you how to program your ECU if you've got the 1.6 or the 1.4 HDI. This is the EDC 16 ECU and this covers models up to 2009, very early 2010. So, the, the two ways of programming this ECU. One is via the OBD port and for that you use a tool such as MPPS or you can program it via the BDM port which is direct to the ECU board and for that you need BDM100. So the difference between the two ways of programming would be the MPPS does it through the OBD port and that only reads half of the flash memory. If you use BDM it reads the full 2 megabyte flash memory and it also backs up this little chip here which is a serial EEPROM. So the first step, remove the four T15 torques. And then next, you need to secure it to your bench. So what I've got is a little tool which I've actually tapped into my bench. So you want to be able to leave the ECU without causing it to slide around. Is before you start, you want to heat the ECU a little with a heat gun. So I'm just going to do that first. And th this just softens the sealer and makes it a bit easier to open. So first, get your small screwdriver. Get it under there. And once you've got it started a little bit, get a bigger screwdriver in. And once you get it going, get in a bit further. Then move along to the hole here, and that's a good place to get that one in. Get that in there. Just remember we're being careful not to push the screwdrivers in too far. If it doesn't want to go, just heat it up a little bit more. At this stage I'm actually going to heat it just a little bit more. And you see as I heat it, the lid will start peeling away. So I'm not pushing very hard. And then, it's a bit of an awkward motion, but once you've got it started, do it evenly, so not too hard, just let it slowly break. And there you are, we've opened the ECU. So the next step is to read the ECU using BDM. So, the BDM port is this tiny section here. See the little pads? What I've got here is I've got a sprung-loaded probe and it's also got a very handy light in it to make it easier to line up. So you need to carefully position the pogo pins. And then screw it down, making sure they're all lined up properly. So the next step, connect the BDM equipment. And you notice here I've got 12 volt power going to it. So for BDM you, you can't power it through the USB, you actually need a 12 volt feed. So because we need 12 volt to the ECU, we're going to switch on the BDM adapter. And now the ECU is powered. So using the EVC software, we get new BDM. And then we'll then be given the option to read the ECU based on which model it is. 
So once it's finished reading, you've then got a complete backup of the ECU and that's why I stress that it's really important to use BDM. So now I'm going to show you how to solder onto the BDM pads and this is if you're using the DimSport 555 Pro from eBay or is actually sold as the BDM 100. So we're only going to use 10 of the BDM pads and if you're looking at the ECU from the front, which is where the plugs are, we're using the BDM pads on the right. It's worth noting this cable needs to be routed out the back of the ECU and you should always add the red strip on the right. So remember, red to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some flux onto these pads. Lots of flux makes everything easier. I'm going to do in the back corner. Bit more solder. So remember what I said, red to the right. Be very careful pushing this on. You don't want to damage the circuit board. And this goes into the BDM tool. Push that in there. 12 volt feed to here and then USB into the laptop. Advanced, switch to power on. It will identify your ECU and then the top one here is the flash. So we we'll call this flash read and then put your name in the file name and this is saved in the .bin format so it's a binary file. So now you've received the remap file back from me. So make sure you've got in a place where you know where it is on your computer. Turn the power on to the BDM. The USB to your laptop. You should hear it click and you hear the noise Windows makes. We then open 555 Pro. And it'll click again. Turn the power on. So if you remember before, we backed up in two ways, but you only need to send me the flash file. Um, this is the top section here, so go to advanced, and then we've already read it, so we want to write it. There's no need to write the serial EEPROM because that stays exactly the same, but you've only backed this up just in case something goes wrong. So write. So here's the remap file we made. This will start the program procedure. Continue? Yes. And then you sit and wait patiently whilst it programs to the ECU. So now we've finished programming the ECU, switch the power off, exit the software, pull the USB out. You can now take the wire off the ECU and obviously be really careful you don't want to damage the pads on the ECU when you pull it off. Now we're going to use a product called ChipQuick to remove this little adapter from the circuit board. So as I said before we want to be really careful that we don't damage the circuit board. So it comes with a special flux paste and then a special kind of solder that stays liquid for a lot longer at a lower temperature. So first, you need to go around, put some flux on the board. You can put quite a lot of this on. 
Just remember, after you've finished a job, you need to go and remove all this sticky flux with some isopropanol or a similar product because it will cause some corrosion. And be careful where you put it, but make sure it goes all over these. Looks like enough there. Turn it around. And it really is worth the extra money of buying this because you're much less likely to damage your ECU. So we're going to try and take it off in the next pass. So I've heated this side up a lot. Spin it round. Heat this side up. Apply some gentle force to it. And it should eventually come off. There you are. And you see how I threw it off there? So all the pads are actually quite clean now. 